So in the last video, we talked about how Power Query works. We said Power Query uses the M language for transforming data, and the M language is actually a case sensitive language. So for example, if in Power Query, you carry out a transformation to delete name with capital letter N, Power Query will not delete any occurrence of name with small letter N because Power Query is a case sensitive language. And Power Query can carry out up to 360 different data transformations and mostly by just clicking on buttons on the user interface. So it is going to be rare that there is a transformation you need to apply to a data set that you won't have a button in Power Query that can do that transformation for you. And every single transformation you do in Power Query will be recorded in the apply steps area of Power Query. So now we are going to take a look at data preview or exploration or data quality checks in Power Query, starting with column quality. Column quality helps us to see if a column has error or empty values. So I'm going to go back to my Power Query editor. Here in my Power Query editor, first, um, I have to delete the last step that I created in my Power Query, which was to delete the quantity column. And this is how you can delete a step in Power Query. Just go to the particular step in Power Query and click on the X mark that is there. So when I click on this X mark, that particular step that deleted the column is now gone. And if I scroll to the right, I should be able to see back my quantity column again. So now I want to enable my column quality data preview option. I have to go to my data view. Go to my data view here. When I click in my data view, I will simply tick the box for column quality. And you are going to see that immediately I can see just at the bottom of all my column headers, there are some statistics that you can see over there. And the statistics simply displays the number or the percentage of empty values you have in a particular column and the percentage of error values that are also there. If the error values and the empty values are both 0%, it is going to display that the amount of valid values is 100%. So, for example, if you take a look at the ship mode column, it shows you that the empty values in this column are 22%, which is accounting for the two null values that we have here. And that's why the remaining valid values is 78%. Although it is not every time that you have empty values that it means that something is wrong with your column. It simply calls you on inquiry so that you can do some investigation. So for example, if you have a column that is showing middle names of people, you can expect to have some empty values in such columns. Now, when I scroll to the right hand side, you can see that my quantity column also has an error value inside it. That's why you can see the error being displayed as 11%. And that's what column quality shows us. Usually it helps us to quickly find out if there are some investigations that we need to carry out in our data or there are certain things that we will need to fix before we proceed.